Welcome to the fourth edition of Spikes and Flats. You see the, the black Nikes here. Hi, right, what's up? It's Tony Prepster from Illinois Mile Split. I'm here at beautiful Lane Tech Stadium hosting. And as you can see, we got a beautiful soccer match going on. Girls soccer here. Multi-purpose stadium. All right, all right. Now we're back here with me. All right, I want to welcome my co-hostess today. Her name is Miss Karina. Tell everyone hi. Hi guys. All right. First question here. Okay, so tell us about the awful weather we've been having. As you know, we live in Illinois, the beautiful state, the beautiful prairie state. But unfortunately, we have bad weather at times, and this season is quite different than, the, than some of the seasons I, I've been a part of most years. Terrible weather. We had snow. We had rain. We had thunder. We had rain. We had hail. We have everything. Today, we have sunshine, but unfortunately, we have no track meet. It's okay. So, and I have mentioned many times about just about everything you can imagine this winter. One of the most things that I do uh, want to say is that a lot of, uh, I have a lot of admiration for, for coaches and uh, school administrators for doing their very best for the sake of the kids. One in particular is Kelly Haas. She's the uh, head girls coach over at Glenbar West. Her track facility was completely underwater. It looked like a river. And instead of canceling the meet and, and calling it a year, she was able to have the meet moved over to Illinois Benedict team. crunches. Let's talk about budget crunches. Um, I don't know if any of you guys uh, heard that recently there's been some talks in the papers about um, the state of Illinois being broke. Um, no money for education. Uh, one uh, school in particular was Administrators out there that are watching this show or, or get word of this, you're going to spend the money. The state, don't believe them, the state is not broke. The state is broke not only when broke. it's not that broke. Because they want to spend the money. You're either going to spend the money on jails or you're going to spend the money on education. So the best bet is to spend the money on education. It's a lot cheaper. It's a lot cheaper to, to educate the mind than it is to, you know, try to educate somebody who can't be here rehabilitated, okay? All right. Cool. All so right. tell us what's up with this weekend. We have Penn Relays, the Prospect Corner Invite, and Valentine's Day. Okay, this is going to be, should be one of the biggest weekends of the year. The weather's supposed to be nice. From what I understand, it's supposed to be 60 degrees pretty much the whole weekend. Um, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. But uh, one of the first jump meets on the docket is the uh, Prospect Boys meet. Let's go. 
gonna be the largest meet in uh, all boys meet in the state. The miles loaded, the four by eight's gonna be loaded, the two miles gonna be stacked, uh, relays are gonna be quality, field events are gonna be top notch. In the mile, you're gonna have Jack Keeler from St. Ignatius, uh, you're gonna have uh, uh, Jameson Dale from uh, uh, from uh, Jones, you're gonna have uh, Dork's gonna represent. It's gonna be crazy, so I'm expecting a time in under 4:15, we can see possibly three or four guys break 4:20 easily, and I'm expecting the two miles to be off the chain. Uh, we should be see a time hopefully in the 9:15, sub 9:15 range. Uh, four by eight, the fastest time in the state right now is I think it's eight minutes point by McHenry. That should go down. We should have uh, three or four teams under, maybe even more than that, maybe four or five teams under eight minutes. We got uh, Lions. You got got uh, Lane Tech is going to be there, um, Jones is going to have a team I believe, uh, Prospect, Sleepers, I know they haven't ran the time, they, they should be ready to represent, man it's just going to be crazy, I know I missed out a team or two, but it's going to be crazy, and then Saturday you got Palatine, the largest relay meet in the state, I think this will be close to the 80th year, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's around 80 years that it's been in existence, so it's going to be crazy, the host Palatine girls are going to Together. I know the quality of uh, four by eight relay. They're gonna be shooting for the state best, and they did this as many relays about. It's just, it's just, it's just amazing what's gonna happen this weekend. There's a couple other meets going on around the state. Um, I think New Trier girls have a meet. Uh, there's a meet somewhere else Friday night that New Trier boys are gonna be at, but it's just gonna be um, outstanding. It's just gonna be off the chain. What we got here? What we got going on here? Now? That's it for today. Oh, outro. <laughs> oh yeah outro uh, next week we're gonna have a, a little bit more we're gonna talk about clubs and high schools club coaching and high school coaching I'm gonna bring in a special guest I'm not gonna mention his name but he's an Olympic qualifier who, who hosts uh, has one of the biggest uh, clubs in the state of Illinois he's trying to make it big it's not AAU but um, he's gonna talk about um, how clubs and high schools should be able to work in working existence. So that's going to be a big topic. Another thing we'll talk about next week is coaching tips. I'm not trying to teach anyone how to coach, but there's a couple of things I noticed about uh, coaches at meets. Um, I'm going to talk about um, little things that I noticed about coaches, you know, not really coaching up in the stands, taking naps, uh, not earning a keep, you know. So we're going to touch on that. I'm going to touch on the other uh, cute things. we got conference meets coming up next week. I'm going to touch on that. I'm going to touch on um, uh, summer running. It's going to be, it's gonna be crazy. So we'll, we'll touch on that next week as well. So we're going to um, end the show just like that. As you can see, sports. This is the definition of sports. Everybody's having fun. Sunny, everybody enjoying themselves. Nobody's getting in trouble. what you like and what you don't like. I'll answer to the best of my ability. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you. Thank you.